Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you our development news of KCS v2 firmware. This firmware will almost spend one year for developing and found the system structure and define the software function and make many new innovations on this v2 version. So this v2 version of KCS can be used by King Company A series board that is used by the ESP32 module. Now, we will look at the some main functions of the KCS and in future, I will make some video talk about the KCS V2 and step by step tell you how to make some projector and make some different functions uh, with the KCS V2 Okay, let's look at uh, this You can see this is King Kony online guide You can see the service and use the online guide We have updated this how to use KCS V2 firmware version for the King Kony board and you can click and you will see many different new functions on the v2 version and uh, firstly we can see uh, this v2 version we use for this so many different ESP32 module and you can see here that almost many bar can use this v2 version and you can see here uh, that have many different firmware we are on the testing and we will release it soon and you will let and download this firmware from our King Kony form just from this form you can download the newest firmware and you can see uh, that used by the ESP download tool you can download the firmware and many different web page and the new functions and some innovations you can see so many so many web page on this online guide you can see the details by yourself on this web page and now I will step by step we will look at some different web page in my controller and this you can see that is A16S and this board you can see that is AG so the different board will download the different firmware will have the different results you can see the menu is different the A16S that will have output and input so you can see because that have the relay is a relay board but the age that is for wireless uh, that for the RF 433 megahertz send and RF receiver and IR send and IR receiver so you can see that board will have this RF menu and this IR menu okay let's look at this AG board firstly then we will look at uh, this A16S board you can see here uh, that is we will look at this RF and IR web page. So you can click, uh, this is IR. So this time we have designed it. You can run your IR remote, uh, your TV remote, or your air conditioner remote, or DVD, or different, just IR remote. You will be very easily. You can just click run signal, and you can press this button. And you can see that we're learning successfully. Uh, because I have this AG board, so I press this button just in front of this board. So that will be very easily, you can see, uh, learning successfully. And you can send it, just click transmit. And this transmit successfully. So you can learn your air condition and very easily. And you can integrate your air condition and to the home assistant is very easily. Because sometimes some uh, brand of air condition you will not have the library for the home assistant but this time you're just learning this remote and you can use HTTP command or TCP command to integrate to home assistant very easily so this is for learning and for send just if you can learning the button 1, button 2, button 3 and button 4 this different IR remote okay this is IR you can see that is RF the RF just you can learning the for 3 megahertz you can also press this button for learning and then you can press this button you will learn in this signal maybe your garage door or maybe your door lock and you can learn in this signal very easily and after you're learning you can use this FTTD command that will make the automation in locally without a card server without a home assistant without a ESP home just by this small PCB board work in locally so we will let show you the most powerful function, the FTTT. 
And let's look at uh, this RF. This is IR, and this you can see the monitor and the network. And because this board mainly is made by the RF and IR. Okay, let's look at this A16S board. And you can see this A16 board. You can see the software is a V2 version, and this is the firmware build time. And you can see the Ethernet uh, IP address. And I have not used the Wi-Fi. You can set by the Wi-Fi. And here you can see the input web page, and that you can set the input uh, just where the need to use the reverse level. Just that the input uh, is high level effective or low level effective. Just check this option or not check this option. So that will be easy. And this for input, just a digital input. And let's look at this output. The output is set for your relay output. You can see that you can see the hold on and the delay and the judging. So this hold on means uh, you turn on the relay, the relay will be always on. And this delay, that means if I click this delay, maybe you can input 10. That means that this relay will open and after one second will auto off. Just as a monetary function. And this can use by cotton and use for the motor. And this you can see that's that's your judging. That means when you hold on the button, the relay will on. When you remove this finger, the the uh, relay will be out of. Uh, so this also can use for the motor or for the cotton. And you can see that is RF and IR because the A16S no IR inside. So that will just only see this RF receive module. So you can learn in this RF receive module for use the remote uh, to control your relay on and off. This just the learning and makes the FTTT function later. And this time we can use the sensor. You can see if your board have the GPIO, so that can define for your uh, one wire sensor to use. So you can see the sensor you can support the DS18B20 and the DHT11 and the DHT22. So just config which sensor you have connected, and then you can choose which unit of the temperature you will use. And if you can choose this DS18B20, that only for the temperature. And if you have choose the DHT11, so that you can use the temperature and the humidity. And this you can set the uh, value that changed. Uh, this value will auto upload to the client. And let's look at uh, the mod. The mod you will see many state of the whole system. And you can see uh, this is sensor we have set to DS18B20, so that will be detect the real time temperature sensor. And this will be see the state. Uh, there are many different protocol we have not disabled. If we disable, that will be show the state uh, whether it's connected or not connected. And this analog input for the analog sensor, and this is for digital sensor, and this is for digital input. And this is for relay, you can see, just for on and off. And also you can rename it. You just you can remove Double click, and you can remove it. And rename, you can see here, I just input. So that can rename very easily. And this is the monitor. And we can look at the network, because this FTT is very powerful. Last, last I will show you how set to the FTTT function. And this is network, we can click. And you can see that for the Ethernet, and this for the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi support AP mode or STA mode, the station mode. And this time we have support the GSM. So now you can use the SIM card. The 4G module will be support on this board. So you can see if you can enable uh, this 4G module, that means is SIM six. Uh, this this is SIM seven six zero zero, and you can input uh, your phone number and mm -hmm. administration phone number. So there are six administration phone number. This phone number you can use for the FTTT function. You can use your mobile phone to remote control your relay by SS, SMS, short message, or by voice call, or by Tuya application. And also you can use this mobile phone telephone number. You can send the SMS 
to your mobile phone or make an automation call uh, to your mobile phone. So that for the notification and for the alarm message. So you can see uh, at the top that have SMS country. So you can just input as a short message. Uh, if you want to turn on really one, so you can press uh, turn on really one. So if you send the short message to this bird, the turn on really one, the really one will be on. And this in support different country language. So you can input your local language. If you are Russian, if you are Europe, you can input your local language. So that will be, you can use it. And this is short message notification. So that you can create uh, some message will send to your mobile phone by the alarm message. And this you can see that is a telephone country. That means you can press this such as one, this end. That means when you press a one and this character, that really will be on and will be off. So, so you can define for for example, one zero one that is turn on relay one, and one zero two that is turn off relay one. So this not need to use the mobile phone application, not need to use the SMS short message. Just press this button. I press this phone number and press this number of the mobile phone. You can control this really remotely. And this is for the GSM setting. And uh, let's look at the next and this uh, protocol. And we can click generate. So this board will support MQTT protocol, HTTP protocol, and TCP server, TCP client, and UDP server, and UDP client. If your board have IS485, that will support mode bus. Oh, this you can see that is HA. That is King Kong HA, uh, small IS485. Jet, so that you can use the older switch. So this will be support. And here you can see, click this is Tuya. So if you want to use the Tuya mobile phone application, you just click enable and fill your Tuya lessons at these different sections and choose your server location. So that will be easy your Tuya. And if you want to use this Tuya by 4G module, you just click enable. So if you no network, no Wi-Fi, no Ethernet, so you can use your SIM card insert on the board and enable this GPS. So you can use your board from GPS and use by the Tuya application. That will be uh, easy use in farm, use outside of your house. So this is about the Tuya setting. We have support the 4G. And here you can see that is a customer protocol. And you can define what command you will send to different device. So this time, so this customer device, so this customer protocol is very powerful. So you can define, you can such as define as 45 command or HTTP command or TCP command, and just click. And now you can define such as this URL or different command you can use this command send to any King Kony product so that any King Kony product will link with each other and make automation with each other and not only can use for King Kony's product but also you can use different uh, different the third part of brand of the product so use King Kony's sensor or use King Kony's board and triangle another product uh, company product no problem, just you know the protocol of the third product. Okay, you can see that can create many different, so many different customer protocol you can use. And now let's look at the system. And in the system, you can set uh, some different settings for double click and hold down for the digital input. And this IF, and this is IR, and change the username and ministry username and the password and uh, let's look at the last FTDT this is the most powerful in KCS v2 firmware so you can see I can click and you can create many you can see many different 
FTTD command, uh, such as I can click this edit, the number one FTTD command, you can click edit, and you can input the automation name, and whether enable or disable it. And this is a logical uh, different condition, I use AND or use OR with this logic. And so you can see the left window is IF condition, and the right window is THEN, that is ACTIONS. So you can choose, this is uh, which triangle, you can see this is digital, uh, such as digital input for a triangle. You can see digital input 1 or digital input 6 because I have used A16S, so that will have 6 channel. And you can see the digital input, you can choose so many different conditions. Uh, single click, double click, hold on, or logical true or false, or the edging rising, or the full edging. And this is the boss edging that used by the old traditional switch. So this time, the traditional switch can easily integrate to the ESP32 board very easily. I just use the digital input part. And this is for choose this DI, such as I can click uh, DI, single click, so you can see it here. And this is analog input AI. So you can choose the analog input, maybe temperature sensor or humid sensor or water level sensor or different um, energy analog sensor and uh, greater than or less than a value. And you can just apply, you can see this is the second addition. And this IF, we have learned this IF remote remote button. So which key have triggered? You can set and apply. And this you can set the timer, uh, which day, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and what time for a triggered time. And uh, click apply. And you can see this is SMS we have set, uh, such as if you want to turn on relay one, you just send the short message. The number one message is received as a triangle. And this is call. You can see uh, if when the I define the different call, so this call press uh, one zero one is turn on relay one or one zero two is turn off relay one. So this time you can choose this which call have telephoned your board. So there are so many different conditions, and this you can see the logical and if you have enable this one. So that will be and or match the condition. And if you can disable it, uh, just is used by the all condition. Just uh, every condition is matched. So that will do this application actions. So you can see, I can click this DO, that means digital output. And digital output, you want to turn on summary or turn off summary or talking summary, just input at here. And this RF, so this you can send the RF signal you have learned, uh, such as you want to turn on a lock or turn on garage door or open the door or close the door. So this can choose which RF signal you have learned. And this is a delay, this is not time, this is a delay because maybe your first action, the second action, in the middle you want to add the delay time, so that you can input, such as 1, that means 1 second delay time. And this you can see, click, that is customer protocol we have defined, so this you can send this customer protocol to the third product for the automation, just for the different product triangle different product. So that will use let this different product all work in one system in locally. And this you can see that is short message. Uh, this short, me short message you can define this six administry uh, send to which person and which short message content. That for around message or notification. And also you can press this you can call which person, because sometimes the short message will have the delay time. If you have some emergency thing, you want to tell your person immediately. So you can use this voice call, so that will be speed will be very fast and call this in voice. 
So this can be select, just click, 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 choose and together. And you just click save so that you have create this FTD command. And after you FTD create FTD command, you can choose enable or not enable just for running or not running. So this is very powerful, it's FTDD command. And this is the whole system, and you can set the input, you can set the output, and you can set the monitor, and you can enable or disable which protocol to use. And you can define the FTDD, all these functions and all this structure, all defined in locally, just in ESP32 module, just in one chip locally. So that will be very safety and that will be work without the internet. And also this board and the KCS V2, you can integrate to Home Assistant very easily just by MQTT or by TCP. And in next video, in future, I will make some different case uh, for the KCS V2 and tell you how to make the project and how to make the automation very easily. Okay, thanks for watching.